Ryan led a modest life as a taxi driver. He worked for a major taxi company, but didn't own a cab himself. Every day, he drove a different taxi from the company's fleet, traversing the bustling city streets. Despite not owning his own taxi, Ryan was well regarded by passengers for his friendly demeanor and punctuality. Some passengers, particularly women, would strike up conversations with him during rides, often extending invitations to social gatherings or offering their phone numbers. However, Ryan politely declined these invitations, as his heart belonged to someone else, Rachel. Rachel was a mysterious figure in Ryan's life. He had never met her in person, yet he felt deeply connected to her. Her full name, Rachel Elizabeth Harrison, was etched in his mind because it was displayed beside her portrait in the city art gallery. Ryan found himself inexplicably drawn to Rachel's painting which depicted a radiant young woman in a flowing gown adorned with shimmering jewels. Each morning before his shift, Ryan diligently cleaned his assigned taxi, ensuring it was spotless for passengers. Although cleaning wasn't mandatory before starting his shift, Ryan took pride in his work and couldn't bear the thought of driving a dirty vehicle. Once his shift ended in the afternoon, Ryan would make his way to the art gallery to admire Rachel's portrait, silently yearning for a chance to meet her. Ryan was fully aware of the peculiarity of his affection for a painting, yet he couldn't help but imagine a life where Rachel was real and they could share their lives together. One fateful day, while tidying his taxi, Ryan stumbled upon a lone earring nestled on the floor. It was an exquisite piece of jewelry, embellished with sparkling gems reminiscent of those adorning Rachel's portrait. Rather than turning the earring over to his company, Ryan chose to keep it, hopeful that he could reunite it with its rightful owner. That evening, Ryan waited patiently for his co-worker, Ethan, to finish his shift. He needed to inquire about the passengers Ethan had picked up the previous night to determine if anyone had lost the earring. Despite Ethan's exhaustion, Ryan persisted until he obtained the necessary information. The following morning, Ryan embarked on a mission to locate the earring's owner. Armed with the details provided by Ethan, he visited the hotel where one of the passengers had been dropped off the night before. Ryan spent hours scouring the hotel lobby, hoping to spot someone who might recognize the missing earring. As time wore on without success, Ryan began to feel disheartened. Seeking solace, Ryan found himself back at the art gallery, standing before Rachel's portrait. It was there that he overheard a conversation between a young woman named Sarah and Rachel's painting. Sarah confided in the portrait, sharing her aspirations and fears with the silent figure. Filled with a sense of purpose, Ryan approached Sarah and presented her with the earring he had found. Sarah's eyes widened with astonishment and gratitude as she recognized the missing piece of jewelry. She thanked Ryan profusely, 
feeling as though she had been granted a stroke of luck. Encouraged by the positive outcome, Ryan mustered the courage to ask Sarah out for coffee. To his delight, she accepted, and as they left the gallery together, Ryan felt a newfound sense of optimism and possibility. He glanced back at Rachel's portrait, silently expressing his gratitude for the unexpected turn of events. As Ryan and Sarah ventured into the city streets, he couldn't shake the feeling that Rachel's painting had played a pivotal role in bringing them together, a silent orchestrator of fate, guiding them toward a future filled with promise and potential.